It's time for the Late Midday Show. Featuring your host, Ardeep Singh. Yes! Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of the Late Midday Show. I'm, of course, your host, Hadeep Singh. Yes. We are back in action, and I'm ready to continue giving you the news. So let's get started. It looks like Boxing Day came early this year when Canada decided to put on the gloves and hit back after Trump's tariffs on Canadian products. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is on the road highlighting the stand he has taken against Donald Trump. It's kind of like when you punch the schoolyard bully in the face, run 20 yards back and wait for the accolades of your fellow classmates. <laughs> Kudos to you Prime Minister Trudeau for not backing down and coming up with a plan to fight for the Canadian economy. It is reported that President Trump has seen an excess of 37% turnover in his hired staff. The only president to have a higher rating was Bill Clinton. So the real question here is, who's working their staff harder? President Trump or Bill Clinton? <laughs> in sports news, World Cup has provided many upsets in the recent games. With the elimination of juggernauts such as Germany, Spain, Portugal and Argentina, it's tough to see who the real favorite will be. Now it's anyone's guess what team the bandwagon jumpers will be joining to finish out this World Cup. Not since LeBron James joining the LA Lakers have we seen so many bandwagoners run to Amazon in hopes of purchasing a jersey for their newfound team. <laughs> yes, it's true. LeBron James has signed to the LA Lakers. He'll be accompanied by other players such as JaVale McGee and Lance Stevenson, a former foe of LeBron James. And how quickly things change. Lance Stevenson goes from blowing a LeBron James ear to blow... You know what I mean. <laughs> Police were called on a 12-year-old boy who had started cutting grass as a summertime job. This story follows two other similar situations which involved characters dubbed as Permit Patty and the Barbecue Coal Queen. God forbid the youth find anything else to do in their summer months than to open a small business and manage it themselves? It seems these terribly bored suburbanites should watch a little less of the talk and try something called going for a walk. Honestly, do something else with your spare time than following people just trying to better their lives. Honestly, if you have nothing else better to do than to call the cops on an eight-year-old for selling water without a permit, my bets are you have four to eight cats at home and no one else. Ah, ha, ha. I didn't want to say it. I shouldn't have to say it, but it's the truth. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> And of course, I have another Trump-related story for you because that's just the world we live in today. In Indiana, a drug raid found orange-colored ecstasy pills that look like Donald Trump. In hindsight, it seems like quite a logical choice. If the president's working hard to F up international relations, you might as well get F'd up on the president. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Late Midday Show. I'm, of course, Hadeep Singh. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to check me out every Monday for the Late Midday Show. And be sure to tune in throughout the week for much more content.